I didn't order food. I didn't ask someone to carry my bags. I, I just wanted to buy some FPV gear. What's with this tip thing? Okay, so here is the Cadex FPV Walk Snail Ascent Light Kit on pre-sale for just 36 US dollars. <laughs> it's so cheap. And I guess Cadex are thinking if we make it cheap enough, people will take a gamble. They'll, they'll front up with their money, even if they're a bit dubious, because what do you got to lose? 36 bucks, it's not a lot. But there is, of course, something to consider here. This particular air unit only works with the Walk Snail Ascent goggles, box goggles. It won't work with the Goggles L, I think it was called, the earlier version. It won't work with the original or the later Walk Snail goggles, proper goggles. It won't work with the HD Zero goggles. It won't work with your Sky Zones. It won't work with your DJI goggles. It's it's The only thing that it'll work with is this here. And in fact, fortunately, they, they provide a bundle here. Let's go look. This is $184, $185. You get the VTX or the Air Unit and the goggles, the only goggles in the world that work with the system right now. So don't confuse these with the goggles that look exactly the same that's supposed to walk with, work with the Avatar system because uh, they won't work with this system. You've got to buy a new set of goggles. So when you, now it's getting a bit more expensive. You look at $185, but still it's, it's not a lot to pay if this was going to be a really practical alternative to DJI. Now the DJI has been banned effectively in the USA. So this is pretty damn good, isn't it? But of course, you know, you know, the catch is always there. I know when Ian from Madstech looked at buying the Protoss, there were all sorts of discounts available to US people, but not for other countries. So let's go to the checkout and see what this is actually going to cost us. We'll add it to our cart. Why have I got two of something? Oh, because I didn't clear it before. Let's remove one of those. Here we go. So here we go. We're getting a $20 discount here. Look at that. So it's now gone down to $165 from $185. 165. It's pretty damn good, isn't it? I, I must say I am I'm kind of impressed with that. that. That's a really low price. Let's see, but are they going to kill us with the shipping? Will we be, you know, they're basically loading the shipping and making it look like a good deal. Let's have a look. Let's go to where I live, which is New Zealand. Uh, New Zealand. And let's go where else? Um, Waikato. I think that's where we go. Let's try a shipping a code see what the estimate is it is wait for it wait for it 10 bucks <laughs> 10 bucks for shipping so the total price is still only 175 bucks oh that's a pretty good deal in fact it was such a good deal i couldn't resist call me um call me gullible but i ordered one of these and they say it should be here in about two weeks two weeks should be the sh well they'll ship in two weeks so get it before christmas anyway i would hope and I'm going to uh, review it thoroughly, take a look. Now, Ian's done a really good teardown and review of the Protoss. And as I say, this is the guts of the Protoss. The goggles are the same, and this is the air unit that goes inside the Protoss. So if you want to see what Ian's found, go and have a look at that. But I'll be testing it out in a different quad and obviously in a fixed wing as well, see how it goes. Now, I get the impression this is a fairly low power system. It's not nowhere near as powerful as DJI. So you're not going to be doing, you know, four or five, six, seven, eight miles. I think Caddx actually say that it's good for three kilometers. Let's see if we've got a... Um, let's go back to the main screen and see if they've got a um, uh, some blurb on it. Where are we? Um, Avatar, Avatar. Where is the new one? Where's the new one? Come on, you're trying to flog it. We've got to find it. Maybe is it down here? I don't know. New arrivals? No, I can't see. But I saw somewhere they were claiming it has a three kilometer. Here we go. Here we go. This is the bit. Look, this is the uh, the new system. It says six grams in weight, three kilometers of range. I That would be the best you could get. I, I think most of the reviews I've seen show that the range is measured in hundreds of yards or hundreds of meters rather than thousands of yards or meters. But if you're flying whoops around the park, hey, that's brilliant. If you're flying fixed wing from your local flying field, it's more than enough if you're not doing long range stuff. 35 milliseconds is kind of low compared, well, it's about the same as DJI and a good quality setting. Strong signal penetration. Uh, don't know that you get that. What does it say? The furthest test distance was 3.2 kilometers tested using a fixed wing aircraft. Yep, because it's probably very high, straight line. You're not going to get that in a quad cruising low doing proximity or freestyle. Um, so there we go. That That's the thing. Now, of course, the question is that if you can't get DJI, if you don't want to use DJI, or if, you know, the, as I say, banned in America, what other options do you have? Let's have a look. Well, we've got this. Now, I'm lucky. 
even if I lived in the USA, I could still fly my DJI because I didn't upgrade to Goggles 2 or Goggles 3 or you know Goggles 3 or whatever it is, all the new stuff. I didn't upgrade to all that. I stuck with the original Goggles and I'm still running Air Units and Vistas. And they're still available from other brands like Runcam. So if you've still got your old DJI Goggles, you could go out and for 130 bucks, you can buy yourself a Vista unit by a different name and because it's not DJI, it won't be stopped at the border. You'll be able to bring it in. In fact, I'll, I haven't checked, but maybe there are US shops who have this in stock as well. And let's face it, it it's not 03, it's not 04. It doesn't use the latest OcuSync technology, but it's better than analog if it comes to picture quality. That's indisputable. It doesn't have onboard recording, but hey, throw a GoPro on. I mean, you can just step back a couple of years and away you go. You're still flying digital at an affordable price. An affordable price. 27 grams, it's a little bit chunky, but you know, that's all right. Um, but what else can you do? Well, there's HD Zero. Now, this is a bundle pretty close to that uh, that Walk Snail or that Cadex bundle. Uh, 70 bucks. That's so twice the price, basically, of the pre order price of the new one. And for that, you get your camera, your video transmitter, and an antenna, which is just a bit of wire in this one. But it's out of stock. It's out of stock. It's about the same power levels. So it's a couple of hundred milliwatts. Yeah. So you're going to get about, although the I think the improved RF performance of the Cadex system would probably give you a little more range than you get with HD Zero. So it's an option. Also, the latency on the HD Zero is much lower. So it's a horses for courses. If you're flying, if you're racing, if you're already invested into the HD Zero ecosystem, I don't see you switching out to go to Cadex all of a sudden. But um, yeah, so this is a, a reason, if, if they get these back into stock, it's a reasonably affordable option as well. But then you've got to buy your HD Zero receiver or goggles. Do they have receivers? Let's have a look. I can't remember. Yeah, video, HD video transceiver. Where's the receiver? There we go. How much is that? What's the price? Why hasn't it got a price here? Go on, we'll go to the shop instead. Go to the shop instead. Where are we? Receiver. Receiver. Um, so yeah, because the goggles here are 650 bucks. That's quite a bit more than the 169 that uh, that Cadex is charging you. For. But you know, the Cadex ones are just box goggles. I hate box goggles. Here you go. The video receiver, 220 bucks. So yeah, the, the Cadex system is still quite a bit cheaper. Quite a bit cheaper, at least on pre-order. Now there is another option of course and that's analog. Let's go to Foxy. Now I reviewed this video transmitter in a Foxy camera and I was really blown away at just how well analog still works. I'll put some footage in here if I can find it. Just how well analog still works. Don't give up analog. Half my flying I do with analog. I posted a video on my XJet channel the other day. Me flying analog. Woohoo! Brilliant fun. Brilliant stuff. So for 60 bucks you can get yourself a two and a half watt 80 channel, no it's not really 80 channels is it, because they're all overlapping, uh, th two and a half watt video transmitter and then for another $23 you get yourself a camera. So it's still dearer than the HD Zero bundle that they had, um, it's still dearer than the Cadex bundle going at the moment, but if you've already got analog goggles this is this is a great way to go. Don't underestimate, don't underestimate analog, I still love analog. So there we go, that's uh, just what I found, I thought you might be interested in uh, seeing this. As I say, I have ordered one. It is uh, supposed to ship in two weeks, I think. And when it arrives, I will be thoroughly testing it. It's a summer here, spring, summer, it's raining at the moment, but it's spring, summer, I've got um, plenty of opportunity to test stuff. And I'll let you know, I'll let you know if it's worthwhile. We'll test out this range claim here, we'll give you some real practical range things we may try changing the antenna to even get better range, all that sort of stuff, play around. But uh, in the meantime, you've got to decide. You've got to decide. Let's have a look. Um, new arrival, is this the one I want? Let's go and have a look. Has it got it? Oh, no, here we go. I'll try and find the bit I'm looking for. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. You've got to decide whether you're going to gamble your $35. I'll show you what happens. I say gamble because look at this. This actually threw me a bit. When I went to the checkout buying this thing, I thought, let's go to the checkout. Fantastic. Off we go. And filled in all my material, all the stuff. And I got down to here. And I thought, what the hell is this? Add a tip? Yeah, they want you to add a tip, one, three, or five percent of your total order as a tip. Seriously, <laughs> seriously, is this a charity? Is this a, I didn't order food. I didn't ask someone to carry my bags. I just wanted to buy some FPV gear. What's with this tip thing? Now I do flick money off to some of the open source projects um, when I'm able to do so because those guys are working for free. But the, surely Cadex is paying their staff to do the work and they don't have to rely on tips. <laughs> just, if, if you have to rely on tips to stay afloat, I would be concerned that I may never see my Walk Snail Ascent goggles with light VTX 
because obviously things are running pretty close to the wind financially, are they, Caddix? I ooh. so anyway, with that in mind, you may want to take the gamble. I took the gamble because I want to. I'll take one for the team. I'll show you what it's all about if it arrives. But you may be a little more um, conservative with your spending. I'm as I say, I'm not making money out of this. I'm not promoting this. I'm just telling you it's there. I saw it. I'm going to review it. Review it. And they don't send me stuff for free. They don't send me free stuff. I'm not one of the valued reviewers. So um, I bought it myself, which means I can criticize it all I like, even though I do. Anyway, when people send me stuff for free, I'll tell you if it's correct. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Give me, give the video a like, give me a, th a, a, a thumbs up, whatever it is that I do these days. And don't forget to remain subscribed and have your alerts on because when this arrives, I will be testing it within a couple of days and you'll know what's going on. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you soon.